Mmm. Man, coffee's good. Good morning, guys. What is going on? Just had my morning coffee, obviously, and now I'm heading to a local buy. There's a seller that we work with locally where about once a month we'll go to them and buy a particular type of product in bulk from them. They are, they're a larger seller and they don't deal in this particular type of inventory. It's for our other store, which is why I'm being like cryptic with, <laughs> with what I'm saying. So yeah, like once a month we'll go and pick up the inventory from them that they don't want. So that's task number one for me today. I gotta go pick that up. And then um, I think Allison's gonna run up to the warehouse to meet up with Callie. And I'm gonna go from this pick to the warehouse as well to help out with listing all the crazy amount of inventory that we have. A few moments later. Okay, the product has been picked up. We got seven boxes this time, and these seven boxes should turn into right around $700 net. And that's $700 net profit, meaning whatever we spent on these items, we'll make that money back, plus on top of it, after fees, after shipping, after everything, we should make another $700. So that's why it's important to make sure that you guys are networking locally. Um, try to develop good connections in your local market. And you do that by doing stuff like going to auctions and networking with the people there. Maybe even joining some networking groups like BNI. And really just like letting your warm market, so like your friends and family, know what you do. So that if they come across somebody with inventory that you could make a profit on, they'll let you know. You'll be the first people they reach out to because that's what this one is from. This is actually Callie's lead. Callie is our full-time employee and through one of her friends, now we're able to buy multiple times from the same person over and over again. So that's why, again, it's important to let people know what you do. Okay, so that was task one, that's done. Allison's already up at the warehouse. I have an idea for today's video. We get the question all the time, like how do I take perfect quality product pictures, especially on like hard goods for eBay or even for Amazon, because Amazon requires you to take perfect product pictures with that nice white background. So what I figured is when I get back to the warehouse, I'll show you guys our little like hard goods booth setup, and then uh, we can go over like camera settings, what type of camera we use and all of that good stuff. So when I get back to the warehouse, um, let's go through that. Back to the warehouse in three, two, one. That's not our warehouse guys i think i think i have a serious problem i don't know if there's like a thriftaholics helpline but i can't stop thrifting i can't do it we have too much inventory and i still can't stop thrifting uh you guys want to see something really funny hold on messages ally babe let's see what ally has to say about this <laughs> i'm just gonna run in really quick and i promise like i said if i find anything worth more than 30 dollars, i'll buy it anything under that I won't buy it. <laughs> so maybe I'll find some stuff, maybe I won't, but I can't help it, can't help it. Well, I didn't lie, I left empty-handed. Nothing there for me, and I'm not paying $13 for a stained Harley Davidson shirt. Okay, now that I got that out of my system, let's get to the warehouse. How's it going? Sweet shirt! Thanks. I want one! Get me one! size you want. Large, like large, large. Yeah, large. That's awesome. There's Allie. You went thrifting. Hi. <laughs> I'm not hugging you. <laughs> I didn't buy anything. I didn't buy anything. Nothing. Love me. Love me. She's, she's mad at me. <laughs> what do I do, guys? I didn't buy anything. What do you want from me? Oh hey, there's seven boxes in the car. Can you help me get them? Seven? <laughs> yeah. Did you like that, Callie? Oh, hey, yeah, I love that. <laughs> Keep buying stuff. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna go through this bulk stuff. Allison is, she's taking pictures right now yeah. at our little photo booth. I told people that I would show them like some product picture taking tips today. So when you're done there, let oh, me know so cool. I can. A stool, tip number one, get a stool to sit on. Yeah. Tips with Ali. It makes it easier so you're not bending down with the camera and you don't want like that up angle. Good tip. It gives you a better angle. Nice. All right, do your thing. 
Let me know when you're done. All right, guys, let's talk pictures. First off, I guess let's talk about some camera settings. So for our hard goods product pictures, we like to use a Canon T5i camera. This isn't entirely necessary. Uh, we just like to use a Canon camera. You can use anything that's like equivalent or even less than this, even like a T3i would be fine. But we like to use an actual camera because you get a memory card slot. Thanks, Callie. Oh. I can't get it Ooh. in. Ooh. There it goes. You can use an iPhone or an Android or something, but we just find that we work much more efficiently and our product pictures are much faster and higher quality when we're using an actual camera. And then for these close-up pictures, we're using a Canon 24 millimeter macro lens. It's just a pancake lens. These things aren't that expensive. I think they're like, I don't know, 100, 120 bucks on Amazon. Camera settings, Callie, when she's taking pictures, she likes to keep it on manual settings with an ISO of 100 and between like 80 or between like 60 and 80 shutter speed and the white balance is on auto. Hey, by the way guys, just a quick tip. If you are using an iPhone to take pictures for eBay, what I would suggest is moving over to square mode. And then one like big tip here is if you touch the screen, if you just tap on the screen like that, you'll get this little sun icon. And then once you've tapped on it, if you just move your finger up, that actually brightens the picture for you automatically. And that'll help eliminate some of those dark background spots that you get when using an iPhone. So now let's talk about lighting for this little photo booth. For this area, we use two soft box lights. These are pretty cheap on Amazon and we use the bulbs that come with them. And then as our main like bright, bright light, we use this ring light. I can't recommend getting one of these enough, guys. This will absolutely change your photography game. Having the box lights is great, but having the ring light just really provides the bright light that you need. So now we have decent light. The other thing that we use is white photo paper. This is Savage photo paper and we've literally used that same roll of paper for like a year and a half. So, and I think, how much is that paper? Like 40 bucks, 50 bucks, something like that. Highly recommend it, it's worth it. It makes your pictures, the backgrounds of your pictures pop. And as most of you guys know, with eBay and with Amazon, they want you guys to have that all white background. So getting that Savage white photo paper is, it's a must in my opinion. So going back to where the product sits, if we need to like prop it up or something, we'll just use a little box or something like that and then angle the picture down so that you can't see the box. And then what I like to do is actually turn the screen on when I'm taking pictures so that I'm not looking through the eye hole and hurting my neck. I just look at the screen and take the picture. One other suggestion straight from eBay themselves is make sure that you're taking at least four pictures. Four to six pictures is what they say the minimum that you upload should be. So don't only take a couple pictures, take four pictures, good angles showing everything about the item. And that's our setup, it's pretty simple. If you guys need links to any of the products that we use to take these pictures, I'll put in the description link so that you guys can go and buy the items that we use. Those are affiliate links, so we make like a little commission for you guys clicking on them, but those are actual items that we use. We would never tell you guys to buy something that we don't actually use ourselves. Anyway, so I'm gonna continue to take pictures of this item and then I'll jump over to my laptop and actually upload them to eBay and show you guys how we use eBay's photo editing tools to get the pictures to look exactly how we want them to look. Okay, so I have all my pictures uploaded to eBay now. I'm creating this listing, and the first thing I want to do is make my picture a square shape. So instead of being long like this, I want to crop it down to make it more of a square. So I'm going to crop all the other pictures into the same rough dimensions as the first one just to get that out of the way so that I can start the rest of the edits on these pics. So I'm just using the first tool, which is eBay's crop tool to crop them down into those square shapes. Now that that's done, I can start my edit. So down here, there's a section called brightness and contrast. That's the button you want to click on. So one is brightness, the other is contrast, and that'll help you guys eliminate that grayish background and get it to white. The first thing you should do is adjust the contrast up and that gray background is starting to go away. So contrast first and then start moving the brightness up. And now you can see it's really starting to get nice and bright and white. eBay's editing tools for this are actually really good. Once you have it to where you want it, you just click save and now the picture should have that nice clear white background. Just so you can see, here's the after and let me show you what the before looks like. So a pretty big difference there, before and after. And then very simply, you do the same thing on the rest of the pictures. So again, brightness and contrast, Hit that contrast button first, drag that up, 
and then drag up the brightness and you'll see that white background start to appear. Hit the save button and your changes will now be saved. Click enlarge and you guys can see the background is nice and bright and white. And once that's done in all the pictures, I'll hit preview and now you guys can see exactly what the listing is gonna look like when it goes live on eBay. I went with the open case just because I like the look of that. People can see that the manual and the disc are both included. But that's how you do it, guys. That's how you get those nice, good, white background product pictures for eBay and for Amazon. It would work the same way. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you learned something. If you do have any questions or comments about what we shared today, please feel free to leave them in the comment section of this video. And thank you guys so much for watching. We appreciate Yay! it. Make sure to hit that thumbs up button and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Bye. <laughs>